So today, I thought I'd share some of my favorite moments when things didn't quite go as planned. You know, first of all, and I'm sure a lot of you think that Richard Simmons is very quiet and reserved. <laughs> he's not, turns out. And even when he's backstage, he, we, you know, we just happen to, because we learned you always should film Richard Simmons, no matter where he is. <laughs> so this was not planned. We just had a camera watching him. And this is backstage, him just being by himself backstage. It takes a lot more than that to embarrass Richard Simmons. <laughs> the next clip is from our sixth season, and uh, it was really the very first season one of our uh, PAs, uh, Ryan, was here. And I love Ryan. I love you so much, Ryan. But there's a right way to roll out a TV. When you're giving something away, you want to roll it out and present it right. There's a right way, and there's a wrong way. This is the wrong way. Hey, <laughs> He's like trying to suck it right back up or something. Oh, Ryan still isn't allowed to roll anything out over $30. So this is another staff member. This is uh, Jen, who created a hilarious moment. Last season, I was showing, uh, I was throwing to a tape, and I was going to show the audience an infomercial. And I was going to, we were going to come out of the infomercial, and I was going to be wearing these ridiculous gloves that the infomercial was talking about. So we only had a few seconds. And we didn't uh, really rehearse this, and it turns out we needed more time. <laughs> this is a, a commercial, uh, real, very uh, real. We're not making this up. A commercial for a product that I wanted uh, to share with y'all. Oh, no. You just had your nails professionally polished. When without warning, your nails are ruined. Nail Smotion now introduces Tip Tops. Designed by women for women to guard your nails from smearing and smudging. <laughs> to keep your manicure per per perfect. <laughs> they can fall off or you could accidentally swallow one, so I have a better idea. Look at these. <laughs> This season started off with a big surprise. Literally, we started the show with Ashton Kutcher, and we thought it would be funny if it looked like he was naked. And uh, well, let's just say that he was a little more revealing than he surprised me, anyway. Have you seen the ad for the show? I have. I have seen it. It's clever. I like it. Yeah. Well, it's getting a lot of attention, so I just figured I'm going to do everything nude from now on. I don't know if that's a good idea. Really? I mean, really? Yeah. Whatever I'm doing, I'm just gonna do it nude. <laughs> Let's do this. I, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't. I think it's a great idea. Let's go. Out. Out. Right now. Out. Hunts? No, no, no hunts. No hunts. <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> my poor mother. Oh, my poor mother. I liked having him here. I just didn't need to see his half man. And finally, earlier this season, Sofia Vergara was on the show, and we were promoting Cover Girls uh, together. And uh, I thought it'd be fun if I pretended to be her hands while she spoke, and I applied Cover Girl makeup. 
while she read what I wrote, and it was a surprise to her. She didn't know what she was going to say. And uh... my cheeks look better with as much rouge as possible. <laughs> in the cheeks, rouge in the forehead, in the forehead, and I put between my breast a little bit for time. <laughs> now, for the lipstick, I like to apply a lot of it and all over, all over the, the mouth region. But for some reason, my hand can only move in a big circle. Uh, I know you can't tell because it was just midway through the process, but she ended up looking beautiful. She really did. <laughs> really pretty. I'm happy to say CoverGirl is sponsoring our 1500 show, so right now I want to say uh, it was a monumental moment to become a CoverGirl and announce it on my show, and thanks to Simply AIDS' foundation, I look and feel younger and more beautiful, and I want y'all to try it. So you're going home with a $100 CVS gift card, so you can... <laughs>